All right, welcome back to Inside Politics. Surprisingly, the buzziest political story of the weekend, not about who will be in the new administration, it's about what happened Friday night on Broadway. Donald Trump back on Twitter again this morning, 6.23 a.m., grumbling about it. He tweeted, the cast and producers of Hamilton, which I hear is highly overrated, should immediately apologize to Mike Pence for their terrible, but terrible behavior. So what terrible behavior, you ask? Well, at the end of Friday night's performance with Vice President-elect Mike Pence in attendance, the cast, they did a little freelancing, or as Trump called it in an earlier tweet, harassment. Watch this. B, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. We truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. All of us. All right, a lot of people talking about this on both sides, and I frankly think it's deeply representative of the discussion in the country over the last couple months. And, you know, Caitlin, let's start, first start with the Donald Trump side, the, the 6.23 a.m. tweet on a Sunday, which was his third tweet about Hamilton. Fourth, if you include the one he deleted. That's right. <laughs> Fourth, it shows that this is still a guy who will not give things up and is willing to pick a fight with anything and everything, including a Broadway show. Right, exactly. Remember the CBS 60 Minutes interview when Donald Trump talked about Twitter as the, one of the most effective tools of uh, communication. This is a person who doesn't use email, uh, who really sees Twitter as a galvanizing force, really. I mean, this is a message that he, he this is a tool that he's used to uh, send messages to his uh, base, to people he, who support him. I think I think this really rallies the people who voted him into office. Um, I think there's a lot to be said for a candidate who, or a, a president-elect now who uh, doesn't like to apologize, calling on uh, people to apologize. I think there's there's something rich about that. Um, but again, I mean, Donald Trump sees Twitter uh, this way. He knows what he's doing with this. Hey, and there's no more direct attack, Errol, on coastal elites than going after Hamilton. I mean, literally, it'd be like stealing a child, for, you know, from someone's house, you know, attacking this Broadway show, which people, you know, here in New York love. And, and, and again, people who love Broadway love, but people maybe in many of these Rust Belt states may not have had a chance to go see yet. Well, that's right. And it's an it's a, it's a, it's a absolutely perfect metaphor. I mean, you're absolutely right that it's, you know, it's young people, it's people of color daring to play the, you know, the sort of the founding fathers. It's, you know, the Obama administration, basically. It's the Obama coalition yeah, it's on the Obama stage. coalition, the Obama administration, the usurpation. Of, uh, of, of the old America and so forth. So it's a perfect target. That's why he's aiming his tweets at it. It's also a good way to throw people off the trail and have the media talk about this instead of, uh, you know, his near brush with a, a fraud trial that was just settled the other day, including a million dollars he had to pay uh, for uh, saying he had a university, which Trump University was not and so forth. So, so yes, and, and, and of course, um, people took to the streets. You know, I mean, this, this isn't uh, just falling on uh, the, the ears and, and into the newsrooms of the media. Uh, there were people who were out in the streets using, you know, sort of boycott Hamilton, sadly not realizing perhaps that the, the show is sold out for the next two years. So if you want to boycott, you know, you want to start talking about 2020 or something like that. Um, but but yeah, it, it was it was real and it was felt. And um, if this becomes the way he plays sort of cultural politics uh, going forward, we're going to be in for a lot of this. Yeah, again, I just it's the least ironic thing ever, right? I, I think this is everything all tied up in a Twitter war with a Broadway show. I mean, it, it's the people who don't understand Donald Trump sort of laughing and snickering and, and being outraged that he's on Twitter. It's Donald Trump on Twitter refusing to give something up that really he might be better off just letting it go. So this will be something it will be interesting to watch um, if this is just the beginning of more fights like this.